Welcome back to another vlog everyone. As you can see we are doing some heavy heavy masonry work. Uh, masonry work in English. But today, yeah, we're going to be getting into this old wine vat. Basically, we've run out of space here um, in our stock area and we need somewhere to put the wine so we can free up some space for other bits and bobs like chairs and things like that. Also, if we manage to sell Vilnav, we're going to have a lot of furniture to stock too. Uh, we've got really nowhere to stock it. On that front, we're starting to get people interested in having a look around. Um, it's been a bit quiet, but I think the whole industry is a bit quiet. The immobilier industry, so the kind of estate agents business in France is quiet, but apparently all of the kind of clients are now kind of coming out the woodwork ready to buy places. So fingers crossed on that front. As you can see, we've cut a doorway into the vat. The problem is these vats are hugely uh, metalled up, so they've got a lot of reinforcing metal in them and they use they used to use really, really strong concrete. So the actual concrete content in the mix is very high and it's very dense concrete. The big problem we've got is these walls are thicker than the blade can cut through. They're about 20 centimeters thick walls. So I'm going to start with the uh, marteau piqueur. So I don't know what you'd call that, breaker, mm. concrete breaker. Yeah. I'm going to start breaking bits off this concrete and see if we can't get through. You can always tidy up the uh, the inside of it with a different with another disc cut. So these vats were very very strong because they were old wine vats. Um, you can see the little door to get in so somebody used to have to go in that door to go and clean the vat. Um, I want the door here because we've got steps where you're stood Anna. Oh yes. And so we're going to be able to come down the steps straight in and get the wine and then come back out. Mm -hmm. I might put a little gate on there at some point to stop anybody getting in and uh, of course it's locked up but you never know so you might be thirsty in the middle of the night and I won't have allowed you to come in yeah I can sneak in whilst you're asleep let's get on with the uh, breaking of this concrete okay okay so I've got my glasses on my earphones on everybody that loved the antique um, exploration finding of treasure we will be uh, we'll be going back to the antique fair and that's going to be a bonus uh, a bonus vlog possibly Monday next week yeah or Tuesday we'll see right I've got to get on with this because I've got a lot of work to do
So you can see, we got a hole through already. Yes, you do. I mean, we do. But you can almost all also see oh. double metal, and look how close the metal is. So it was very, very strong. So I think once you've got a bigger hole in, things will go a bit quicker. And like I say, we'll tidy up the backside after. I think you best leave me to it, Anna. Yeah, because it's very noisy and I got other things to do, so... I've got to confess something. What? What is it? I've made a mess of your cremant bottles. You have, you have. They're all covered in... Dust. Dirt. <laughs> yes. But it's okay. The bottles can be washed. Well, no, the bottles are clean. It's just the... It's just the boxes, I think. We'll be okay. Right, I'm going to get on. You go cleaning and uh, doing emails and I'll call you when I'm done. Okay then, see you in a bit. In three weeks. <laughs> well, hopefully sooner. No, oh, go quick. It should go quick. I discontinue with the cutting, so I thought I'd show you all my little surprise, which is these pipes here that I've hated for ages. I did the surprise to fill, well, get the pipes out, put them back in the wall, redo the joint. And now, you don't see the nasty plastic pipe. I do love the galvanized one over there. But it's looking so much nicer. And you can see it even better here. Because you can see where the pipe was. And now, that's it. No more pipe. And he's even planted the rose tree that was there. He's put it back in. And it's looking all good. And the terrace is looking amazing. Tables and chairs have been painted. The roses are coming out bit by bit. We're sadly saying goodbye to the wisteria. So I was pretty ill last week. I'm only just about getting better now. It's uh, The bad cold is nearly gone. I absolutely loved my surprise from Ed because those pipes have been on my mind for some time now. And I like that Ed started the work and just like, oh, Anna, I'm doing something. There's lots of noise, but just wait and see. And I absolutely love it that it's looking amazing. I want to show you something that is looking absolutely stunning now. Let's go and have a look together. 
You can see it in the corner there next to the pillar. That is such a beautiful rose tree and the color. It's like hot pink fuchsia. I love it. How stunning and it's full, 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 full. I mean, I don't think, even if I wanted, I don't think it would be possible to have more roses on the rose tree. It's looking amazing, that one. I've always loved, because there's a little window there, how it always goes next to it and it pretty much covers it. I think this is by far one of the nicest rose trees we have here at the Chateau. This is its trunk. It's massive. I can't even imagine how old it must be. Or the stories that this rose tree would have to tell us. But the beauty, wow. Ed, I've left you alone for a bit. And not only have you made it through, but done more work than if I were here. Yeah, it was uh, really hard at first, but once you get a bit out, you can then attack it. The only problem is, as we get down here, it just goes a bit thicker. Oh, I didn't, oh, I can see it now. But we, we, we I've just been um, cutting on the inside here, so that it should make it a bit easier. It's just a mix of whacking it with a massive hammer and uh, and using the concrete breaker. It's pretty big in there. Well, yeah, but don't forget that's this is just one of the tanks. Oh no, we're not cutting both, are we? But yeah, we're cutting another hole through into the next tank. Oh no. Yeah. So um, yeah, I've got my doorway marked here and I'm ready to go. So yeah, just another, maybe another hour or so on that, getting that out, and then uh, possibly just cut that tonight, and then see who we're at in the morning. Well, it's been a little bit more than half a day a day, hasn't it? Yes, it has. It's been a day and a half so far. But the good news is, I think tomorrow morning everything will be finished. We're almost end of day today, aren't we? Yes. Well, we've got a nice big opening. There's not a huge... I thought this was a lot bigger on the other side, but it's not actually that much bigger. And we're not going through again, are we? Well, unless you know of some cave network behind or something. I might even have been through that. Let's get a uh, hammer. Okay, so be careful for those and be careful for this bar. Okay. okay. Let's go and have a look, see how big it is through there. Oh my god, Anna! What? There's some cases of wine down there. You're joking. No! There's a bottle in this one. It's massive. Let me... Oh, somebody's got there before us, Anna. Oh, and I was hoping for a bit. No, I'm only messing with the honor. I did plant those before. Oh, you cheeky thing. I did think, like... Did you recognise the labels? Do you think those cases were maybe a little bit too new? Well, I thought they were a bit too new, yeah. Well, I just thought I'd have a bit of a joke. Well, it's been really hard work, so... It's about five minutes to put some wine cases down here and have a joke at your expense. It was five minutes well spent. So yeah, this tank is a little bit smaller than the other tank. Uh, so maybe we'll put the more high-end wines. What do you reckon, Anna? 
Yeah. With another gate. So you've got to get through a door and two gates to get to the good wines. Fair enough. So or, in the... or you just know that there's a hole at the top there that well, needs to get in. Yes. And I'm sure I can... Well, I can definitely get in there. Yeah. So you might all be thinking, right, what's going on with the walls? Why are they grimy? That's actually um, deposits from the wine, isn't it? Oh, yes. Um, Quatre. Yeah, but looking at how kind of thick and black those are, this seems to be a bit kind of possibly tartar, you know, uh, tartar looking. Mm -hmm. But that looks like it's almost painted black. So I don't think they've ever cleaned the ceiling, which is a bit, bit much. But I think it must have been high because you can. Yeah, you, I think they just concentrate on the walls. Because they would come wall. up from there, through yeah. that hole, get in with the ladder and then just scrub the walls. Yeah, this I can tell, it's not, never been done that, so. But look, there's a hole down by your foot, I don't really know where that goes, but you can actually see some of the old wine in there. Oh yes. That has got to be at least 20 years, uh, yeah, 20 more. years old. Just 20, not more? 20, 21, 22, because I think the last vintage that they made here was 2001. Oh yeah, so 22 years old then. Yeah. So, we're almost there. I think uh, possibly the next thing is to show you all finished with pallets in ready for the wine. We're not going to put any um, boxes on the floor in here because it could get damp. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll stack them on pallets. So we're going to get it all cleaned down, get some pallets down here, and then on to the next bit of clearing up. Wow. This is looking good, Ed. Tiny and technical as usual, Anna. We'll come along just at the last minute. So, I was being a bit lazy here, and I didn't want to have to do any, uh, any wiring as such, because we've got no lights down here anyway, in this section. So what I've done is I've put these passive infrared things, and they're attached to um, little tiny solar panels outside. Um, so when we come down here, the light comes on automatically. Oh, that's good. And uh, away we go. We, we don't even need to think about turning lights on and off. So again, a, a bit like what we did in Dunlar, really. I have one problem, that somebody had had the little fingers in a box in the local brick and marche and they must have turned this light on, because I've had the battery out of this one in the other one, and the ba basically the two units work, but this battery here is uncharged, so we need to check if that works. If not, I have to take this one back and get another one. But it should just charge up. But here we go, we've got three big pallets here, and then two big pallets over here, so... All we need to do now is bring the wine down. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Light's gone off. It should be on for two minutes. <laughs> Maybe it's running out again. I think it has. I don't know. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, it's powerful. Let's look who's here to come and see what we're doing. Hello, baby dog. She's inspecting. She wants to make sure that daddy's done a good job. Yeah, I don't know where uh, Oprah is. She must be outside. But that's Onyx, isn't it? Yeah, that's Onyx. Ed, I think you've done a great job down here, yeah. and look at this, you have a little medal oh. for all your hard work. Oh. Gold medalist. Huh? A gold medalist for breaking into the wine cave, creating more storage, and breaking through concrete. Oh, I'm the best in the world, Anna, in French. <laughs> oh, Anna, I'm not 30 years old. <laughs> Well, you have saying, It's saying uh, I won the gold medal, not in breaking through into here, into sexy guy, Sampa, which is like nice guy, and funny. Oh, well, I think you definitely are all those things. Maybe not 30 anymore, but you are all, I'm sure everyone would agree with me. <laughs> yes, you look good at 30. <laughs> okay, well, great. Thanks for watching this vlog and we shall see you all next week. See you soon. Cheers guys.